All right, hello and welcome to That's The Point. We're back here in the studio. My name is Corey Meyer, and uh, we have a topic, kind of a housekeeping topic today. Um, we're looking down the road, we're looking through the windshield um, at some topics that we have coming up on That's The Point. And uh, we're gonna jump into a little bit of data prep in the future. So one of the things that we have to first get out of the way um, is making sure that you have all the tools and the Trimble tools uh, ready and at your disposal and installed and ready to go. So today we're gonna be doing just that. So today we are gonna be talking about how to get Trimble Field Points installed onto your desktop or your laptop computer. Now, if you already got this figured out, and this is a quick video, you could just go ahead and just fast forward through it all. But there are a couple gotchas if you haven't done it yet, or if someone kind of told you, hey, make sure that you download Field Points. Um, but this is the points creation tool um, plugin that we use within AutoCAD and Revit. So we're gonna jump right into that. Really simple process, but just a couple things you wanna kind of pay attention to um, as you're getting started with Trimble trim Field Points for the first time. So. If we get in the laptop here, the first thing we want to make a note of before we start anything is we want to make sure we are we know which version of AutoCAD we're using because the plugin is specific to each uh, version of AutoCAD or Revit. So any of the Autodesk products, we want to match up the year. So right now we could see up here um, that we're installing into AutoCAD 2025 in this video. So we just want to keep that in the back of our mind that we're going to need the 2025 version of the plugin. So that being said, we're going to close out. And we're going to jump into Trimble Installation Manager. There's a link down below in the description if you need a link to that. Uh, but if you've installed any Trimble products, um, you already have Tim or Trimble Installation Manager installed. So we're going to go into that real quick. And uh, you do need to have an internet connection for that. Um, so we're going to load this app. And so Trimble Installation Manager will then go out, find all the products that you can download. We're gonna click the show all button down at the bottom. And if we go down here, we'll see we have two Trimble field points, at least the time of production of this video. Um, we wanna ignore the RLM version. So just ignore that. Long story short, not applicable to what we're doing here. Uh, you wanna go to the one that's just called Trimble field points. Once we do that, we see we have some options, but this is why we made a note at the very beginning of the video when we talked about what version of AutoCAD that you were installing into, um, or Verivit, whatever the case may be. Um, so we are in 2025, so you'll see that each of these have the, the year, the version years first. Um, and you just want to pick um, those versions. We have a couple extra versions here um, because, because this is a, a, a support desk computer. Um, but normally you only see the last couple of years. Um, and so you want to pick the year that is applicable. So we're in Autodesk 2025, so we want to pick the 25 version. We can see that it's 12.0.0, which is the latest release. We're going to check that and it's gonna see our options, and then we're gonna uncheck Revit. This doesn't apply to this video, but if you had Revit, you could easily install that, um, and then we'll take the field points release notes as well. So once that's done, we'll just tap install. We're gonna be talking. It's gonna come up with our install shield wizard. We're just gonna click through these couple of screens. It's gonna accept the terms, not once, but twice. And we're gonna tap install points installed onto your desktop and through the magic of editing there we go it's done we're going to tap finish our computer now if you already got this figured out and then it's going to ask us for one more question if you selected that field points release notes we're going to install this just to the little desktop and that gives you your release notes it's fantastic reading we're going to tap close it's gonna say your device is up to date and ready to use. So we're done with that part. We're gonna tap and click on finish. And now we can go back. So we're gonna reload. We're gonna reopen AutoCAD. Just gonna double tap. And this is the part where we wanted to kind of be specific because this can kind of trip you up a little bit because now that it's installed, it's not quite ready to use yet because you have to activate your license um, through your subscription. And this allows you to get a little bit more mileage maybe out of the field points license that you have. Let's say for instance, that you have five uh, AutoCAD users. Um, but you only have three licenses of Trimble Field Points because not everybody uses it at the same time. By using this sign in and sign out feature, you can actually pass those licenses between different users. So all five users don't have to have the five licenses all the time to be able to, the five subscriptions to be able to use Field Points. You can just sign in and sign out as you need them. So it's a way to get, get a little bit more uh, usability out of the licenses that you have. So to do that, and because this is a first time install for us, we definitely need to sign in. We're just gonna come over here to Setup and we're gonna to go to License Manager right in the Trimble side. And it's gonna immediately tell us to sign into our Trimble accounts. We're gonna click Sign In. And we're gonna sign in with your TID. There's a link down below to that to make sure that 
if you haven't set up your TID, but we're assuming now in this video that you have a TID and you have a subscription for field links uh, tied to that TID or assigned to that TID. Um, so we're gonna type in our login credentials. Yeah, add our password. And it says that we may now close this video, or this, this window, which is easy enough to do. And we can see we get a confirmation right here on the screen that says that you're now enjoying it. So this means that Field Points is activated and we can now create points um, right here within the Field Points plugin within Autodesk uh, AutoCAD. So we can close that out and we're ready to go. Now to just quickly go back, because we had talked about it at the beginning once we, when we opened up AutoPad, Autodesk um, products, is that we can now sign out. So in that same screen, if we just go back to License Manager, um, if you want to pass this off to another subscription, we can go to License Manager, load that up, and then we can simply click the Sign Out button, and that does free that license up uh, for another user. So just another way to get a little bit more out of that. But with this simple steps, um, you can get started with Trimble Field Points. And again, we're gonna now be taking, um, in some future episodes, we're gonna be taking a little bit deeper dive into points creation and how to really embrace the Trimble workflow as it comes to points creation uh, for layout using um, you know, the drawing and the, and the design tools that you're already used to. So, and of course, if you have any other questions, make sure to reach out to your local Building Point representative. They're more than happy to help. And don't forget, smash that subscribe button to stay up to date with the latest tips, tricks, and pointers. And we'll see you next time on That's the Point. Thank <laughs> you.